let's do fun stuff together with artist Drew Rockington and Catstronaut Waffles. Hey everybody, it's me and Waffles. We're here in the studio once again for some more Let's Do Fun Stuff Together. I am so excited to do fun stuff together. Uh, if you are excited to do fun stuff together, put your hands in the air. One, oh, me too. Okay, just two of us. You, me, you, me, you, me, you, me, you, me, you, me, you, you, me, you, me, you, me. Okay, whew, ah. All right, today we are going to be talking about puzzles. We're gonna be making our own puzzle, which will be very exciting. Uh, Waffles, do you like doing puzzles? Uh, I, uh, uh, I love doing puzzles. I love sitting around the coffee table with my fellow Catstronauts and, uh, and, uh, and putting the pieces together. And, and um, uh, but uh, there was, uh, there was this, this one time that I was doing a puzzle and um, it, it just, I felt a little awkward, so I left the room. Oh, okay, why, why did you leave the room? Because I feel like I didn't fit in. Like there was a, a piece of me that didn't fit. Is that, is that a joke? That's a puzzle joke? Yeah, all right, well, it looks like we did not, uh, didn't, <laughs> looks like we didn't test that joke yet. Okay, let's, uh, Waffles, I want you to work on that puzzle joke. Okay, I can do that. And then we will get to drawing and start working on our puzzle. Here we go. Whoop. Puzzle, wait, what is going on the drawing table? Oh my gosh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, everybody, we need, <laughs> why are we playing tennis? Well, well, Drew, we just wanted to play a game of tennis. Uh, well, everybody, we need to do some puzzles. So let's clear this tennis game off, okay? Okay, Drew. All right, let's clear out here. Bye, Mr. Donut. Sup, dog? Gotta get you off. Little one-eyed monster, little cyclops. Let's get you off, okay. I think we're ready to do some puzzles now. We'll adjust our lights. Okay, are we ready to do some puzzles? Let's move the tennis court out of the way. Here we go. Okay, let's see what we're drawing with today in today's drawing bag. I don't know why I shake it, but we definitely wanna see what we're drawing with today. Okay, we have our eraser and our pencil sharpener, trusty materials, have our pencil for drawing, and then we get a blue marker today. We're not using our black marker, we're drawing this puzzle in blue. Oh, that will be fun. Okay, so we're sitting down to do a puzzle. And if anyone has done a puzzle in the past, they can either be uh, just, you know, like an image or something, or they can be a pattern. Um, and I think uh, for me, one of the, the puzzles that are a little more challenging are the ones that are all pattern that are just, um, you know, the same image over and over again, or some abstract design or something like that. So first thing we're gonna do is we need to fill up our page with an image. Um, so I think we can do this with jellyfish. Jellyfish are one of my favorite things to draw. They're, they're really great. They don't take a lot, they, you know, they're pretty simple to draw. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna figure out where our jellyfish are on the page. And we're gonna put a bunch of jellyfish all over. Okay. Um, so when you start drawing a jellyfish, you're just drawing the top of an umbrella. So we're gonna put the tops of these umbrellas over all over the page. And they can be different sizes. They can be big jellyfish. We're just putting the jellyfish everywhere. And this will be, we're gonna make a really fun puzzle to put together. Got our jellyfish happening. 
These two look like they might be buddies because they're floating next to each other. Okay. We've got lots of, it's looking like a lot of umbrellas. You can also just draw umbrellas if you want to, I guess. But I think jellyfish will be a little more fun. Look how many jellies we got. We gotta make sure we get enough jellies that it's gonna be fun pattern to make. So we wanna make all, sure all the big spaces are filled up with jellyfish. Okay, just a few more. And then we're gonna start jumping into our ink pen right away. And we'll do just a tiny jellyfish right here. Okay, cool. Okay, so we have our jellies kind of figured out on the page. Okay, let's go ahead and do our inks. So I'm grabbing my blue marker because that's all I have for my inking today with my final drawing. And I'm gonna go back over my jellyfish my blue marker and in each jellyfish I'm going to choose a different type of face so I can draw this one can be a happy jelly this one can be maybe it's a grumpy jelly so we need to go through those jellyfish give them all different faces. Is this one a surprise jelly? <sighs> and then uh, this one, this big one, maybe it's uh, a very happy jelly. See how I made those eyes? They're like little rainbows. And then I'm gonna do half of a circle for a smile that has a little tongue. Okay, this tiny jelly, let's not forget that. This will be a surprise jelly. <gasps> surprise! I had a really good question. Someone asked me a question yesterday over social media. It was, why do I start at the top of my page and then work my way down? Well, uh, that's a really good question. And I start at the top because and work my way down because then my hand doesn't rub all over what I just drew. If I started at the bottom and worked my way up, see how my hand and my arm would drag through my drawing? I would, I would get all my hair would be in my drawing. Ugh, you get hair and fur everywhere and it would be gross. So I start at the top and I work my way down. Same thing with, I'm also supposed to start left to right, working our way across, but um, sometimes I get too excited and I wanna draw something else. Okay, I'm gonna pick up the pace because we got a lot of jellies to draw. So go ahead and just choose your faces. You can repeat faces if you want to. Super happy jellies, grumpy jellies. We gotta make sure that this puzzle is gonna be the best. Grumpy. Sometimes I do this thing where, and I'll switch, I'll switch to this. Sometimes I do this thing where when I'm drawing, I make the face of what I'm doing. So uh, if I'm drawing happy, I'll go, <gasps> If I'm drawing grumpy, I'll do this, you know, and stuff. So that might be fun to do is try to make the face of the jelly you're drawing. So let's go back. We will do, this will be a surprise jelly. <gasps> okay, then we'll do a, this will be the grumpiest jelly that ever lived. Ooh, this is an angry jelly. <clears throat> so you get the idea. Um, okay, then we're almost done with our jellies. A jellyfish is something that I love to draw. I draw this in sidewalk chalk everywhere. So all over our neighborhood where we live, there's just jellyfish hiding. Sometimes when we go play at a park, I'll bring a piece of chalk and I'll draw jellies there. It's just kind of like, I love drawing. Love drawing my jellies. Do, 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 do. Okay, here we go. This jelly is like 
Nah, I've, I've seen better. Nah, I'm kind of bored. But then this jelly is like, ooh, that's a big jelly. Okay, keep going. How many more jellies do we have? We have drawn a lot of jellies. Whew. The hardest thing about making a puzzle is doing all of the drawing. Hmm, this is another happy one. As we get to the bottom, our jellies are getting happier. Okay. All right. And then this one will be the happiest jelly that ever lived. Because it's the last jelly thing that we drew. Okay, now we got to make sure we draw jelly legs. You might be saying like, Drew, well you're drawing your hands on top of all the things that you drew already and you might get your fur and your ink and you smear it. But uh, this week, you know, the marker has dried so it should be okay to go back over it and start adding these jelly legs in there. You can see that I'm not drawing the legs. When I get to another jelly, I stop drawing the legs. So, like the legs disappear. I guess these are tendrils. The jelly tendrils will disappear behind the jelly that it's behind. So it's like a big group shot of all the jellies. Hey, uh, Waffles, how's your, uh, how's your joke coming? Are you working on that puzzle joke? Yeah, I am. I'm still puzzling it out. <laughs> okay, that was better. <laughs> Good one, Waffles. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Funny, funny, funny. Jokes are hard. Have you ever come up with your own joke? They are hard to come up with. Sometimes they're really good. Sometimes they're really just hard. But they're fun to make up. Jokes are really fun. Like, what did uh, one muffin say to the other muffin? Oh my goodness, a talking muffin! I don't think that worked. I think I told that joke wrong. <laughs> That's really bad. Uh, yeah. All right, drawing these jellies. We got lots of jelly tails. We're almost done with our jelly. This is like a jelly marathon. Almost done. And then we're gonna add one more detail to our jelly drawing. We're gonna add bubbles, because we're underwater. We can add bubbles everywhere. And if you want to, you can add occasionally a little fish. Maybe there's tiny little fish in there. That's fun. Add a few fish. Add some more bubbles. You can make your bubbles big or small, little dots. So sometimes I go through and I make big bubbles all over. Do all my big bubbles, then I'll go through and I'll make little bubbles here. Here, here, here. Just kind of put them randomly around the jellyfish. Oops, cables in the way. Okay, and then we make the tiny bubbles, just little dots. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Let's choose a new sound to make our little bubble dots. La, 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 la. La, la, la. These are like opera bot dots. La, 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 la. We can make up a song as we do it. Bubble, bubble, making bubbles, dot, 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 bubbles. Do, 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 do. Okay, we are almost done. We're done! Okay, great. We have our great jellyfish. This is a really fun drawing. Uh, now the fun part begins because we've finished our drawing. So we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna make our puzzle pieces. We're gonna draw our puzzle pieces on the back. And if you wanna do a really hard puzzle, you just need to have more pieces. So I'm gonna start with three 
lines here. And then I'm gonna start with four lines going across. And I need to make sure, so if you wanna make it more complicated, just add more lines up and down. So there's more tiny little pieces because we're gonna cut out each of these squares. And because it's a puzzle, we need to make sure that we include little nicks and things just to remind ourselves that this is how we cut out our pieces. Okay, then we're gonna put our marker down and we're gonna grab our scissors and remember, ask permission to use scissors. Um, so don't just grab a pair of scissors unless it is allowed in your house that you can use scissors. Please ask permission. Okay, and now we're gonna go start cutting it out. So, and I'm gonna go quick, and I'm gonna cut these out one line at a time. Okay, then, dude. You can see I'm cutting around our bumps. This is really cool. This is gonna be a hard puzzle, I think. Okay, there's one line. Let's do the next line. Another bump in the road. Ooh, look at this. This one has no bumps. That's fancy. Then, Okay, now we're gonna start cutting out our pieces. Puzzle pieces. And another puzzle piece. This is gonna be a cool puzzle once it's done. Some people, they make puzzles and they put them back in the box, but some people actually make puzzles and they put them in a frame uh, and they hang them up like artwork in their house because some pieces some puzzles you can get a puzzle of pretty much anything you can get a puzzle of a famous painting you can get a puzzle of bunnies i know a lot of places let you make puzzles out of photographs of your family or your friends so it's really cool I've seen puzzles that are magnets that you can build on your refrigerator or a magnet board. They're pretty cool. A lot of people I know are doing a lot of puzzles nowadays. It's a good time to do puzzles and they help your brain because your brain is looking for patterns and looking at, so visually, it's like, how do these pieces fit? And then also like physically, like, mm, does this, you know, holding the puzzle piece and stuff. You know what would be really fun was if they made a scratch and sniff puzzle that it only, <laughs> you only knew how to fit it together by how it smelled. <laughs> I'm just coming up with this idea right now, but what if there was a puzzle that like, you had to put like flower piece next to the flower smelling piece next to the dirt smelling piece. Uh, that would be really fun. Okay, we have our puzzle, it's all cut out. Should we build it? Oh no, this is gonna be... Okay, everyone get ready for 30 minutes of me trying to build this puzzle. Okay, uh, okay, let's start with the corner. That's always a good spot to start in a puzzle. So we have a corner here. Okay, good. Where's another corner? Here's a corner. Here's a corner. This is a really good puzzle. Okay, I have our four corners. Now let's do our edges. Hmm. Oh, I think we got a match. Awesome. Okay, does this guy fit? Nope, that one's not there, but does this fit here? Okay, we got a match there, that's good. Is this a match? Nope. Nope, okay. What about this? Oh, we got a match here. This is good. Good, good, good. So far, our puzzle's coming together. Oh, I think I got, nope, that doesn't look like it. Oh, but this one could match here. 
Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Is this fit? No? Yeah, it does. Okay, good. That fits. Uh, does this fit? It does! Ah! Cool. Okay. This one goes here. Ooh, this one goes like this. Oh, this was that straight line that we cut. Ooh, that was a tricky one. Okay, and then we'll put our top on it. And we have our puzzle! It's our puzzle! We did it! Woo! Give yourselves two thumbs up for doing your puzzle. Okay, now if you want to have some fun, uh, you can do a time challenge. You can see how long it takes you to build this puzzle. And then you can ask, you know, your caretaker or your sibling or, you know, someone else. If there's someone else in the house, you can, you can time it or you can time yourself. Like, how fast can I do it now? Or, uh, or, or you know, whatever. Or you can just, if you want to, you can do this and then find a way to tape it or glue it together and then you have your puzzle preserved as a finished work of art one thing we forgot to do i forgot to sign our name to our beautiful artwork so i'm gonna write it really small at the bottom here d brockington 20. you can go ahead and sign your name if you would like uh, it's a really cool puzzle. Thank you for puzzling it out with me today. Uh, if you would like this puzzle sent to you, uh, I'm gonna be posting a picture of it uh, to my Instagram and you can go ahead and follow me uh, at the Brock Art uh, and just comment in the comment section for a chance to have this puzzle, this jelly puzzle mailed to you. Uh, otherwise, send me pictures of your puzzles. Tag me at the Brock Art on Twitter or Instagram. Uh, and yeah, have uh, take a picture of your puzzle. Tell me how long, time yourself, how long it took you to make that puzzle. I wanna know, I really wanna know. Uh, and, and also, uh, good luck puzzling out the next puzzle. Uh, but yeah, uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, we have some awesome stuff in store. Tomorrow, we need to remember that we are gonna need Three pieces of paper, three paper, and we are gonna need uh, any drawing supply that you want, but um, anything you want, we're gonna do it. So it could be a pen or a crayon, but we are going to be doing a drawing marathon. So we need three sheets of paper, three, three, three and a pen or a crayon or a marker. Um, and then, this is really important, we need a sense of adventure. So prepare for tomorrow. We're gonna do a huge drawing adventure. It's gonna be fun. Get ready for adventure. Thank you so much everyone for tuning in today and I will see you back tomorrow. Oh, the mic's still on. Meow. Yeah.